big question in this video is, can you decrypt ransomware? And the answer is absolutely yes. And this is a very personal video because I had made a bet with one of my friends who thought it couldn't be done and I won. So first of all, what you're looking at right here is a readme file from the ransomware Shade, which is a particularly infamous ransomware. Many of you may have been affected by it. And I personally had a little accident in which I accidentally ran this on system. Thankfully, I was smart, had backups, but there were a few things that were not backed up. Many of which, as you can see, were my shadow play recordings. And these were all encrypted. As you can see, the data here is absolutely encrypted. It says it's a Windows 10 file, but you can open it. You can access it. The data is all jumbled up. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can recover this data with a simple decryptor. And this is the case for a lot of ransomware variants these days. Not for all of them, but for a lot of them. Now, another important thing to keep in mind is that when these files were encrypted, there was no decryptor for the ransomware shade. So it was literally impossible to decrypt this data. So I might as well have deleted it. And I asked a lot of experts at the time if there was any reason to suspect that Shade would be decrypted in the future, and they said no, pretty much. Their encryption algorithm was secure. But in a lot of cases, ransomware operations do shut down after a certain time period. Sometimes they're shut down by law enforcement. So even though in this particular case, there was no decryptor available, when I was affected, I did not delete the data. Instead, I saved it on a backup drive. And as you can see, I've got a very nice nomenclature here. Backup and then old backup inside that. <laughs> this is next gen version management, guys. But jokes aside, I did back up my data just in case in the future there would be a decryptor so I could get these recordings back. It wasn't a big deal to me, but I just have this tendency of not letting go of anything. And in this case, it paid off. Despite them saying that the only way to recover my data is to pay the ransom, I'm actually going to run a uh, Bitdefender decryptor here. Just have to agree to the license agreement. Select one of the affected folders and then click on start tool. It's pretty much one click process as easy as it gets and the tool should be able to decrypt all of our data. Another important point to get across from this is that do not pay the ransom regardless of what the ransomware authors say. It's never a good idea. I know people do it in exceptional circumstances, but especially as a home user, I would not recommend doing so because at the end of the day, you are negotiating with criminals and they could just ghost you at any point after taking your money. Now, I also want to make clear that this is not a one-off example. There are other ransomware variants that have been decrypted by tools from various vendors. MCSoft has been a big one in pushing for decryption tools. There's an entire project called No More Ransom where multiple vendors participate in order to create and make accessible decryption tools for ransomware that they can break into. I will leave a link to all of those resources down below. So if you have been encrypted by ransomware, definitely check out these resources. There's a good chance that one of the threats that you were affected by has already been decrypted and you can just download tool for free to decrypt your data. And even if that's not the case, I would recommend just backing up your data, even if it's encrypted and unusable, and waiting a couple of years just in case a decryption tool does come out, rather than giving up and deleting it. This was a bit of an experiment on my side, and as you can see, it has paid off. Another very important message, obviously, is don't belittle people for getting affected by ransomware or anything else. Try to look for solutions. As you can see, even someone like me who makes videos about ransomware all day can have an accident leading to their data getting encrypted. A lot of people think that if they understand technology or they work in the tech industry, they're somewhat invulnerable to threats like malware, and that's definitely not the case. Sometimes you will be tired, sometimes your brain will switch off, and mistakes can happen. Some very large YouTubers have had their accounts hacked. Major companies get ransomed all the time, so let's not pretend that once you reach a certain level of understanding of tech, you're just magically invulnerable to malicious actors. If we take a look at our folder, even though the process is still continuing, we have some files that are already decrypted. So I'm just going to run one of these. As you can see, now the video is playing just fine. When just a few minutes ago, this was a Windows 10 file. <laughs> 
So ransomware decryption, it can be done, amigo. Check out the resources in the description of the video. You can also join our Discord if you've been affected by ransomware and ask around and people might be able to find a tool. The only thing I would recommend being wary of is if somebody's charging you for the ability to decrypt your data, because then again, they could just be an intermediary that's gonna take your money, give it to the ransomware authors in order to get the key, or they could just be a scammer. However, like I mentioned, there are ways to decrypt your data for free. Definitely explore those before giving up. And even if you don't find one right now, there's nothing to say that there won't be one a year from now or two years from now. Now, funny side note, if you're wondering, well, how did I of all people manage to have Shade run on my system? This is at the time when I was actually making a video on Shade ransomware and my VM and my host system looked so similar that I accidentally exited executed the malware on my host system thinking that I was running it on my VM. By the time I realized and shut it down, which I did, it had already encrypted quite a bit of data. One of the reasons that didn't completely destroy me at the time was because I had backups of most of my important files and you should have that as well. That's your number one defense against ransomware. And that's where our sponsors come in. This video is brought to you by Acronis CyberProtect Home Office, a product that actually ties in all the different aspects of ransomware protection that I talk about all the time. First one, backup. It's got on-system as well as cloud backup built in so you can recover from any ransomware attack. It's also got real-time protection against ransomware and illicit crypto mining. If you go into settings, it's got all the bells and whistles. It can protect your NAS, it can protect your backup files. Very important. It's also got proper real-time protection along with behavioral monitoring. So it can detect malicious behavior and process, web filtering as well, and even a vulnerability assessment module. But hey, this is the PC security channel, so we gotta test this, right? As usual, I have my script ready to go. We've got Malex right here, and we're gonna run all the ransomware samples. We usually do infamous threats from the last five years and see what happens. It's going by pretty fast, but as you can see, things are getting blocked and we end up with a proactive detection of 100%. This is a truly unique product in its class right now. You can also get a full 30% off if you decide to buy in using the coupon code TPSC22. So check them out and show them some love for supporting the PC Security channel. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.